Good afternoon. As Dean of the College of Osteopathic Medicine, it is my honor to welcome you to the 2011 Honors and Awards Convocation. This ceremony honors the 233 candidates in the class of 2011 who will receive the Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine degree at the 125th commencement of the College of Osteopathic Medicine on Saturday. On behalf of KCUMB's Board of Trustees, administration, faculty, and staff, I want to commend these candidates for their commitment to excellence. The class of 2011 is an exceptional class made up of individuals who truly exemplify the core values of the university. Leadership, humility, integrity, compassion, and the service to humanity. We are so very proud of their accomplishments. Accomplishments in the academic performance, accomplishments in the clinical performance, accomplishments in research and scholarly activity, accomplishments in leadership on a local, a state, and a national level, accomplishments in serving others, especially those we are called to serve the most, the poor and the needy. The individual students we honor today are but a reflection of the entire class and its accomplishments together. The accomplishments and influence of this class go far beyond the classroom and the hospital. These graduates have touched people's lives in need across the entire socioeconomic spectrum, from the homeless shelters to the living rooms of fellow students in crisis from the poorest regions of Guatemala to the outreach programs in our metropolitan area. This class has made a difference and will continue to positively impact the countless number of lives that they will touch as they go forward. As we begin this convocation, it is now my pleasure to introduce the president of the class of 2011 Allison Abraham, who will address the class and those assembled in their honor. Good afternoon. Before I make my remarks, I would like to recognize my fellow class officers. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized. Our treasurer, Jennifer Dupree, she's out there. <laughs> Our secretary, Cherie Simmons, Our Vice President, Ahmed Erekat. I would also like to extend my appreciation to our class senators who served the class of 2011. Would the senators please stand to be recognized as I call your name? Daniel Jones. Sarah Kaminsky. Brandon King, Laura Klein, and Amber Levens Wodinski. And as we go forward tomorrow to graduation, I just have a few remarks. It's hard to believe that just four years ago we began the most grueling yet rewarding journey of our lives. It was one we had all worked so hard to achieve. At that point, we entered a world that was so different than any we had ever experienced before. For the first times in our lives, we were surrounded by a group of people that were all working towards the same goal. We were all here to become physicians. 10 sections, countless note packets, 20 clinical rotation box, three board exams, and over $48 million in debt later, we are now less than 24 hours away from that moment we've been working towards for 20 plus years. So looking back, 
What exactly did we learn in medical school? During the first two years, we enjoyed those comforts of Classroom B while, while building our foundation of clinical education. We spent endless hours studying and memorizing the information. We took quizzes and exams. We battled with our first step of the national boards, and we slowly began to gain the confidence of a future physician. We went through the sections, each of the subjects teaching us something a little different. OMT taught us the power of touch. Pathology taught us the complexity of disease. Anatomy taught us the incredible network that is the human body. And physiology taught us how that network truly functions as one. Pharmacology taught us the power of possessing the cure. And microbiology taught us just how easily that can be taken away. Then we entered our third year, the moment we had all been waiting for, real patience. For some, it was a time of discovery, ruling out or ruling in the various specialties. For others, the path was simple, instantly being drawn to a specific field of medicine. In clinical rotations, we learned a lot. We learned about the type of doctor we want to be, and in some cases, the type we don't. We, we learned the true power that we as physicians hold in the eyes of our patients. We learned the importance of humility and having to sometimes say, I'm sorry, I don't know, but I can look it up. We learned that science does not define medicine. And no matter how many classes, we take and books we read, there will always be a patient that defies the rules. We have seen life-saving procedures and we experienced the death of patients and we brought new life into the world. And finally, there was fourth year, the one that everyone says is so amazing. But I think people tend to forget those first six months, the time when we're basically put back through the ringer of applying to medical school, except this time it's residency. There's a lot of wondering, did I pick the right specialty? Do I apply to enough programs? Will they like me? Will I like them? And then when it's all said and done, the reality sinks in. I'm really going to be a doctor. But we didn't do this on our own. There have been our incredible faculty and staff that have encouraged us and given us the skills and inspiration to become amazing physicians our family and friends who stood by our sides, even when they didn't hear from us for weeks or sometimes months at a time, they answered our phone calls, whether in celebration or in that bit of panic right before an exam or after. Without these people, we would not be sitting here. And I know I speak for our entire class when I say from the bottom of our hearts, thank you. And of course, we had each other. Throughout these four years, we have pushed each other to become better physicians. We have learned from and motivated our classmates in good times and in bad. We have formed bonds that I know will, will last a lifetime. I am so inspired by our class. We are truly united and supportive of each other in a way I cannot explain. It's just something you have to experience. And now here we sit. Tomorrow, for the first time, we will all be called doctor. For those that have not been on our shoes, I can tell you there's a single thought going through a lot of our heads. I'm terrified. But here is something I know for sure. We never would have made it this far if we weren't meant to do this. As we've heard so many times throughout our medical school career, where there is a love of medicine, there is love of humankind. As we go forward, my hope for the members of the class of 2011 is that even when times get tough, you continue to find inspiration in your career as a physician, and may you always have the same love of medicine that you had on that very first day of medical school. Congratulations to all my incredible classmates. I'm truly honored to be called your colleague, and I cannot wait to see the amazing things we do in the future. Thank you very much. I would ask Ahmed Arakat, Vice President of the Class of 2011, to now come forward and make the traditional presentation on behalf of the Class of 2011. It is my privilege and honor to represent the Class of 2011 in recognizing our Class President 
Allison Abraham. Allison is by far one of the hardest working, best multitasking, best table making, overachieving people I know. She has represented us both on school-wide and nationwide levels, and as class president, she has made it her duty to keep us all in the loop on matters as important on how to fill out an ERAS application to residency, as well as matters as equally important, such as how to register for grad week events, such as the pub crawl <laughs> and the golf tournament. She has been relentless in her advocacy of all our concerns. As she led the effort to change some requirements students saw unfit and implement changes that will be of great help to those classes that follow us. She takes fellow students' concerns to heart, both in private and in larger student council meetings, and her efforts have been felt and noticed. On a personal level, she is a role model, a source of help and support, and of course, a good friend. Uh, Allison, on behalf of the class of 2011, thank you. Service is at the core of the calling to be a physician. Today I'd like to recognize students who have gone to great lengths to serve KCUMB, to serve the underserved, and to serve our nation. Appointment as an ambassador of Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences is an honor. The class of 2011 ambassadors were selected for their ability to represent the university and its core values both on campus as well as away. With the, all of those who have served as ambassadors, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for serving the university. Some of our graduates realize a very special and unique calling to provide health care to the underserved populations within the United States. With those students who receive scholarships from the Indian Health Services and the National Health Service Corps, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for serving our underserved. The demands of medical school alone can be arduous. We have in our company today graduate candidates who voluntarily increase their responsibilities by a selfless allegiance and honor and protect our country. With those graduates in the class of 2011 who are committed to serve in the United States Air Force, Army, or Navy, please stand and be recognized. Thank you for serving our nation. I'd now like to introduce KCUMB's President and Chief Executive Officer, Dr. H. Danny Weaver. Thank you, Dr. Haug. Good afternoon. Today we are pleased to recognize the 233 members of the class of 2011. They have applied themselves in significant academic discipline for a challenging four years many a great personal sacrifice and in a very strenuous medical regimen. We would like to begin the honors and awards portion of this convocation by paying tribute to our 2011 graduates. In honor of the fulfillment of their goals and becoming capable 
and dedicated physicians. Will the class of 2011 please stand and be recognized? Thank you. It is now our privilege to recognize the class of 2011 honor graduates. The members of Sigma Sigma Phi, Psi Sigma Alpha, and those graduating with honors, cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. Membership in Sigma Sigma Phi Honor Society is based upon the advancement of the osteopathic profession through scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Dr. Rance McLean, Associate Professor of Family Medicine and sponsor of Sigma Sigma Phi Honor Society will join me in recognizing the 32 members of Sigma Sigma Phi. As a Sigma Sigma Phi award recipient, when your name is called, please come to the stage using the steps to your left and receive your certificate and honor cord. Recipients will wear honor cords on Saturday during the commencement ceremony and tonight at baccalaureate. We ask that you hold all applause until the 32 recipients have been recognized. Casey Reed Anholtz. Ashley Elaine Bear Asensio. Sonia Lynn Butte. Haven Lindsay Caldwell. Patrick Daniel Uranus Dekel. Jennifer Lee Dupree. Amanda Ray Doubleday. Elizabeth Nadine Elman. Ryan Thomas Frank. Timur Alexander Galperin. Kevin James Hardiman. Lauren Marie Henderson. Dina B. Jabaji. Jessica Nicole Lee. Cole Robert Linville. Kyle Ross McClintock. Megan M. Mesher. Joseph Ryan Michelson. Joshua Craig Poles. Chad Carlin Puffer. Omar Rashid Qureshi. Nicholas James Rupel. Charles Paul Smoot. Christine Renee Spies. Jared Thomas Staub. Gretchen Ray Stiefel. Daniel Richard Stipula. Charles Nathaniel Swift. Margaret Joanne Thompson. Matthew Michael Thompson. Amber Levens Wadinsky. Farah Martin Wilson. Congratulations to all Sigma Sigma Phi members.
Sigma Sigma Phi annually presents the Outstanding Senior Award in recognition of excellence in leadership, scholarship, character, and service. I am pleased to announce the 2011 recipient of the Sigma Sigma Phi Outstanding Senior Award, Jennifer Lee Dupree. Thank you, Dr. McLean. Membership in Psi Sigma Alpha is based upon high scholastic aptitude and an exemplary professional comportment. It is limited to the top 15% of the class in academic rank. 34 candidates will receive a certificate and a medallion, which they will wear during baccalaureate and tomorrow at the commencement ceremony. Dr. Pam Thomas, Associate Professor of Anatomy and sponsor of Psi Sigma Alpha, will recognize the Psi Sigma Alpha Award recipients. Dr. Thomas. As each recipient's name is called, please feel free to recognize that recipient. Uh, please enter the stage on steps on your left to receive your certificate and your medallion. Ashley, Elaine, Bearer, Asencio, Brent, Joseph, Barta, Jeffrey, Allen, Biscop, Jeffrey, S. Blasick, Emily, Catherine, Boss, Danielle, Renee, Bergdahl, Patrick, Daniel, Arancis, Dekel, Charles, Earl, Evans III, Jessica, Weston, Galvin, Kevin, James, Hardiman, Sophia, Louise, Hines, John, Dayton, Hopkins, Dina, Jabaji, James Bentley Church Kessel, Patrick Warren Kicker, Jordan C. Knight, Seth Charles Loomis, Adam John Mallinger, Megan M. Mesher, Ronald Lee Newcomb Jr., Omar Rashid Kureshi, Michael Taylor Rouse, Alicia. Elizabeth Schrader, Christine Renee Spies, Jared Thomas Staub, Christina Yvonne Steinmetz Rodriguez, Gretchen Ray Stiefel, Daniel Richard Stipula, Charles Nathaniel Swift, Margaret Joan Thompson, Nathaniel Thomas Weberding, Joseph Michael Williams, Farah Martin Wilson, Mark Leslie Witkowski. Please join me in congratulating all Psi Sigma Alpha recipients. I am privileged to present to you 30 members of the class of 2011 who will graduate with Latin honors in recognition of didactic cumulative grade point averages between 3.649 and 4.0. Recipients will each receive a medallion to be worn this evening as well as Saturday during the commencement ceremony. The Latin honors also will be noted on the face of their diplomas. As each recipient is called, please come to the stage using the steps to your left to receive your medallion. We ask that you please hold applause until the recipients have all been recognized. Those graduating cum laude with distinction, with cumulative grade point averages of 3.649 to 3.753 in ascending order are Charles Nathaniel Swift, Mark Leslie Witkowski, Jordan C. Knight, Gretchen Ray Stiefel, Joseph Michael Williams, Patrick Daniel Uranus Dekel. Christina Yvonne Steinmetz Rodriguez, Farah Martin Wilson, Daniel Richard Stipula, James Bentley Kessel, Michael Taylor 
Rouse, Jared Thomas Staub. Those graduating magna cum laude with great distinction with cumulative grade point averages of 3.757 to 3.845 in ascending order are Jeffrey Allen Biscup, Brent Joseph Barta, Kevin James Hardiman, Sophia Louise Hines, Ronald Lee Newcomb Jr., Margaret Joan Thompson, Nathaniel Thomas Weberdine, Danielle Renee Berkdahl, Patrick Warren Kicker, Adam John Mallinger, Ashley Elaine Bayer Asensio, Seth Charles Loomis, and Megan M. Mesher. Those graduating summa cum laude with greatest distinction with cumulative grade point averages of 3.850 to 4.0 in ascending order are Charles Earl Evans III, Emily Catherine Boss, Jeffrey S. Blasik, Omar Rashid Qureshi, and finally, Alicia Elizabeth Schrader. One last time, please join me in recognizing all the Kansas City University of Medicine and Bioscience as Latin Honor graduates for 2011. The dual degrees of Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Masters of Business Administration and Healthcare Leadership will be conferred upon 32 graduates tomorrow. Last evening, Rockhurst University recognized students for their membership in Beta Gamma Sigma, the International Honor Society recognizing business excellence. Would these students stand and be recognized as I call your name? Jennifer Jean Forsyth. <laughs> Kyle Ross McClintock. and Bradley Benedict Shue. <laughs> Additionally, last evening, at a celebration for the dual degree candidates for Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine and Master of Arts in Bioethics, the Sir William Osler Outstanding Student Award for Bioethics was presented for the first time at KCUMB. This award recognizes a student who demonstrates academic excellence in the bioethics curriculum, the capacity for bioethical and humanistic imagination, and passion and commitment to the fields of bioethics and osteopathic medicine. The 2011 award was presented to Christine M. Putawala. Christine is not able to join us today, but please give her a round of applause. Joining us on stage are the faculty who will serve as presenters for today's remaining awards and convocation. They include Dr. H. Danny Weaver, President and Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Rance L. McLean, Associate Professor of Family Medicine, Dr. Pamela P. Thomas, Associate Professor of Anatomy, Dr. W. Joshua Cox, Associate Professor and Vice Chair of Family Medicine, Dr. Robert E. Stevens, Professor and Chair of Anatomy and Associate Dean of the College of Biosciences. Dr. Alan G. Glaris, Professor and Associate Dean for Basic Medical Sciences. Dr. Douglas R. Rushing, Professor of Biochemistry and Dean of the College of Biosciences. Dr. Larry W. Seegers, Associate Professor of Pharmacology and Preventative Medicine and Chair of Pharmacology and Microbiology. Dr. Paul C. Dew, Professor of Family Medicine and Preventive Medicine. Dr. John J. Doherty, Associate Dean for Clinical Education and Medical Affairs and Professor and Chair of Family Medicine. Dr. Gotham Desai, Associate Professor for Family Medicine. Dr. Sarah Parrott, Assistant Professor of Family Medicine. Dr. G. Michael Johnston, Professor and Chair of Internal Medicine. 
Dr. Michelle Langaker, Assistant Professor and Chair of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Richard D. McGee, Assistant Professor and Chair of Pediatrics. Dr. Kevin D. Treffer, Associate Professor of Family Medicine. Dr. Norbert W. Seidler, Professor and Chair of Biochemistry. Dr. Maurice W. Olklaas, Associate Dean for Student Affairs and Associate Professor of Family Medicine. Dr. Edward R. Friedlander, Associate Professor and Chair of Pathology. And Dr. Diane R. Carius, Associate Professor of Physiology. Our first award is one of significant distinction, and it is not every year we encounter a graduate who merits this high honor. It is presented in recognition of an especially noteworthy contribution to society, such as humanitarian behavior, acts of bravery, or intellectual advancements. During the past decade, the Medallion Award has been presented only two times. We are fortunate to have with us today the 1999 recipient, Dr. Maurice Olklaas, who also serves as our faculty. Dr. Olklaas, would you please stand and be recognized? This year, a member of the class of 2011 was selected to receive this honor for his extraordinary service and outreach during his medical school career. During his second year service learning project, he encountered a project that would become a passion and outlet for his dedication to the underserved. His two hour project led to a long term commitment to Cherith Brook, a local organization that provides meals, showers, and place of fellowship for the homeless population of Kansas City. Week after week, he returned to prepare community meals to visit with those he served, assist with building a community garden, and work with the organization to enhance their service to the homeless community, and stay on course with his academics to graduate with honors. Today, I am very pleased to present the 2011 Medallion Award to Daniel Richard Stipula. The President's Award honors a member of the graduating class who by personal and professional conduct has made significant and meritorious contributions in service to the greater community while enrolled as a student at the university. In so doing, this individual has enhanced the public image of osteopathic medicine and exemplifies the core values that guide our mission. I am pleased to present the 2011 President's Award to Allison Lynn Abraham. The Dean's Award recognizes and honors a member of the senior class who by personal and professional conduct has made significant and meritorious contributions to the university community while enrolled as a student. In particular, by participating in student affairs and the general program in a manner that has enhanced the overall quality and spirit of the college. It is with great pleasure that I present the 2011 Dean's Award to Seth Charles Loomis. The Undergraduate Osteopathic Manipulative Medicine Fellowship takes place between the third and fourth years of study and consists of one year of intense and advanced training application, and teaching of osteopathic manipulative medicine. OMM fellows are directly involved in the academic, clinical, and research aspects of osteopathic medicine. I am pleased to present this award to our four recipients, Brenda K. Deal Bai, Stephen Matthew Darrington, Crystal Diane Meacham, and Cassandra Nicole Raymar.
The fellowship in clinical anatomy is awarded to two osteopathic medical students based upon academic perform performance in anatomy and service to students as teaching assistants and tutors. The fellowship is a rigorous 11-month program that involves extensive teaching in the College of Osteopathic Medicine and the College of Biosciences, as well as research in clinical anatomy, which includes submitting a peer reviewed manuscript for publication. This plaque is awarded to those students who have successfully completed the requirements of a fellowship in clinical anatomy. The 2011 recipients are Christopher Chase Zurich and Amber Levens Widinski. Basic Science Research Award is presented in recognition of significant participation and aptitude in basic science research. The award goes to Tim Timur Alexander Gelperin. The American Medical Women's Association Glasgow Rubin Commendation for an Academic Achievement is presented to women students who graduate in the top 10% of their class. The Glasgow Rubin Commendation honors the sisters of Dr. Maud Glasgow, an American Medical Women's Association member who was a pioneer in preventive medicine, public health, and a crusader for the advancement of women in medicine. As your name is called, please come to the stage using the steps on your left to receive the Glasgow Rubin Commendation for Academic Achievement and remain here until you are all together. Emily Catherine Boss. <laughs> Megan M. Mesher. Ashley Elaine Bayer Asensio. Danielle Renee Burkdahl. Alicia Elizabeth Schrader. Margaret Joan Thompson. Sophia Louise Hines, and Farah Martin Wilson. The award in infectious disease medicine is presented in recognition of significant achievement in the fields of microbiology and infectious disease medicine. The recipient of the 2011 Award in Infectious Disease Medicine is Jared Thomas Staub. The Missouri State Medical Association Honors Graduate Award uh, is presented um, because of uh, recognition of a member of the state chapter of the American Medical Association with outstanding achievement in the study of medicine. The Missouri State Medical Association Honors Graduate Award goes to Jeffrey S. Blasick.
The American Academy of Neurology Medical Student Prize for Excellence is presented for exemplary scientific achievement and clinical acumen in neurology or neuroscience and outstanding personal qualities of integrity, compassion, and leadership. I'm pleased to present this award to Sarah Malka Strauss. The Society for Academic Emergency Medicine Excellence in Emergency Medicine Award is presented in recognition of significant proficiency in emergency medicine. It is with great pleasure that we present the Excellence in Emergency Medicine Award to Kevin James Hardiman. The Robert J. Cotter Surgery Award is presented in recognition of excellence in general surgery clinical training. It is my pleasure to present this scholarship and certificate to Mark Leslie Witkowski. The Warren Tuttle PhD Pharmacology Award was renamed for Dr. Tuttle in 2001 uh, upon his retirement from KCUMB to honor his 30 years of dedicated service, teaching, and uh, honorary d uh, d dedication to the discipline of pharmacology. Uh, it's certainly my privilege as Chair of Pharmacology and Microbiology to present this award. Uh, unfortunately, due to health reasons, Dr. Tuttle was not able to be with us. Um, but he certainly served as my mentor as chair of pharmacology. The Warren Tuttle PhD Pharmacology Award is presented in recognition of significant achievement in the discipline of pharmacology, as well as exceptional overall academic achievement. The recipient of the 2011 Warren Tuttle Pharmacology Award is Adam John Mallinger. The Clinical Science Research Award is presented in recognition of significant participation and interest in clinical science research. We are pleased to award this award plaque to Cassandra Nicole Raymar. The Osteopathic Primary Care Award is presented in recognition of significant dedication to and promise in the field of primary care medicine, as well as a commitment to preventive care education and osteopathic principles and practices. We are pleased to present this award to OMM Fellow Cassandra Nicole Raymar. Established four years ago, we were pleased to present the Bernetti Krieger Award. The late Bernetti Krieger, affectionately known to all of us as Bernie, joined the university in 1954 and served for many years under the late Dr. Mary Lou Butterworth, former professor and chair of anesthesiology and dean of alumni emeritus. The Bernetti Krieger Award is presented in recognition of the graduating student who endeavors to demonstrate exceptional professionalism, empathy, and compassion with patients in the practice of family medicine. We're pleased to present this award to two recipients today, Aaron collier Clausen and Sarah Javed. The Family Health Foundation Award is presented in recognition of outstanding performance in family medicine, clinical clerkships, and for leadership, ability, enthusiasm, 
and scholastic achievement. I am pleased to present this award to Emily Catherine Boss. The Internal Medicine Award is presented in recognition of significant promise and dedication to the field of primary care medicine with an emphasis on internal medicine, as well as an overall genuine commitment to the generalist care of the patient. It is with great honor that this distinctive award goes to Charles Earl Evans III. The Missouri College of Emergency Physicians R.R. R. Hannes MD Award is presented in recognition of a Missouri resident who has demonstrated outstanding proficiency in emergency medicine. The recipient is Andrew Stephen Dalton. The Excellence in Obstetrics and Gynecology Award is presented in recognition of clinical excellence in obstetrics and gynecology and in recognition of dedication to advancing women's health. And this award goes to Gretchen Ray Stiefel. Paul McCord D.O. Humanitarian Scholarship is presented in recognition of the graduating student who best exemplifies the humanitarian effort of caring for the underserved. This year's recipient is Emily Catherine Boss. The Achievement Award in Clinical Medicine is based upon uh, outstanding preceptor evaluations of excellence. The Achievement Award in Clinical Medicine is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement in clinical sciences. We are very pleased to present this award to Jessica Bayer. The Thomas V. Thomas MD Award for Research is presented in recognition of outstanding achievement in presentation and scholarly publication of original research. The late Dr. Thomas, a former clinical professor of thoracic and cardiovascular surgery with the university, was himself a widely published scholar and was associated with several of the top-ranked top heart institutions in the country. I am pleased to present this award to Christopher Chase Surick. The Henry Holloway D.O. Award is presented in recognition of the graduating student who best exemplifies the principles and practices of osteopathic medicine. This year's recipient is OMM Fellow Crystal Diane Meacham. The Matthews Military Honor Graduate Award is named in memory of Colonel H.T. Matthews, father of retired Colonel Thomas G. Matthews, a West Point graduate and former associate professor and chair of KCUMB's Obstetrics and Gynecology Department. The Matthews Military Honor Graduate Award is presented in recognition of the military graduate who best exemplifies the qualities sought in a mil military medical corps officer. 
I am very pleased to present this award to Margaret Joan Thompson. The George S. Jurgens Memorial Award honors the late, the memory and late of George S. Jurgens, an instructor at KCMB for the last for 18 years. The George S. Jurgens Memorial Award in biochemistry is presented in recognition of the student who displays exceptional excellence in biochemistry. The George S. Jurgens Memorial Award goes to Nathaniel Thomas Weberding. The Donna Jones Mort Sugu Memorial Award is in recognition of the supportive and professional partnering role of a medical student's spouse. This award is presented to Heidi McClintock, wife of Kyle Ross McClintock. Dr. J. Lewis Alderman retired from KCUMB as a professor of physiology. He and his wife, Joyce, created the Mary Colleen Alderman Clinical Excellence Award in Pediatrics in memory of their daughter who died at the age of nine in 1990. Her death renewed a commitment by Dr. Alderman to ensure that the knowledge medical students gain will somehow lessen the risk of young patients. The Mary Colleen Alderman Clinical Excellence Award in Pediatrics is presented in recognition of competence, compassion, and dedication to serving children. I am honored and pleased to present the award to Suri e. Michelle Hochberger. The uh, David B. Wheeler D.O. Memorial Award in Pathology was developed in memory of David B. Wheeler D.O., a forensic pathologist and a uh, member of the class of 1987. The David Wheeler D.O. Memorial Award in Pathology is presented in recognition of excellence in pathology and for continued commitment to advancing the field. This award goes to Seth Charles Loomis. The Medical Education Research Award is presented in recognition of significant participation in and interest in medical education research. I am honored and pleased to present this year's Medical Education Research Award to Amber Levens Wodinski and Nathaniel Carlton Bergman. Student DO of the Year Award. Established by the Council of Osteopathic Student and Government Presidents, the Student DO of the Year Award recognizes an outstanding student at each of the 26 osteopathic medical schools. Criteria for this award are outstanding achievement in three areas, service to community, service to students, and service to the osteopathic medical profession. The recipient of this year's Student DO of the Year Award is Jennifer Lee Dupree.
the Silver Stethoscope Award is presented to the student who graduates second in the class, an extraordinary achievement. The recipient of the 2011 Silver Stethoscope Award is Omar Rashid Qureshi. Next, we honor the individual who will graduate first in the class of 2011. The recipient of the Gold Stethoscope Award will serve as a student marshal for the College of Osteopathic Medicine commencement ceremonies. The student marshal joins the faculty marshal leading students, faculty, and guest hooders in tomorrow's commencement processional. Ladies and gentlemen, graduating first in her class, we present to you the 2011 recipient of the Gold Stethoscope Award, Alicia Elizabeth Schrader. Please join us in a round of applause for all of our honorees. We are grateful to have the opportunity to share their achievements with you this afternoon, the family and the friends. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow at the 125th commencement of the College of Osteopathic Medicine. Thank you.